What you doing over there? Oh, good morning, climbers. Welcome to Yosemite National Park. We're here at Camp Four. Today, I'll be reviewing. Does it have it? The G7 Portal Edge. As you can see here, it is a glorified air mattress as of right now. But what it is, is it's a 3.5 pound, 1.6 kilogram sleep, uh, portal edge at $785. So that is very expensive for an air mattress. So they're gonna be reviewing it, testing it a bit, put, putting up a climb. I don't think we're gonna be getting it up any of the big walls today, but we'll probably get it up somewhere and see what it's like to fill it, carry it, and live with it. So uh, let's do it. Send it. Okay, so we are on the east buttress of the cathedral. Yeah, middle cathedral. Middle cathedral, east buttress, a couple pictures up. L cap in the background. Here to get the G7 review. So, like I always say in my episodes, if it ain't clipped in, it's probably gonna fall. So we got it clipped in here. Using a little pass to do that. Now let's take it out of the bag comes in this little bag. The bag feels like waterproof. I don't think it is. It feels like it is. It's almost like it feels airtight. Here's the G7 here. Now I can tell it's got a, string, a rope here so we don't lose the bag. And it's girth hitched over here so we don't lose the whole portal edge. There's the portal edge. So, they're pretty smart here. They turned the bag into a pump, basically. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pump it up. Because if you were trying to blow this whole thing up with your breath, man, I don't know. You'd be you'd be pretty dizzy by the end of that. So it works kind of like this. First you turn this bag inside out again. No, it goes like this. Oh, okay. It has a one-way air valve, so. This one pops open to let all the air out at the end of the day, let the air out quick. And like this, this top one, that just, uh, it's one way valve, so the air only goes in. And then they have this little tiny plug that goes in there like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna clip this somewhere else so it's just easier for me. And I guess I'll just clip it anywhere. Clip it to here. There, now it's not going anywhere. Okay, so I don't know what scientific principle it is, but if you blow out from here, it's more air than if you were blowing like this. Because when you blow like this, your air pushes outside air in as well. So it ends up being a lot quicker. And what I found that works the best is I go like this and then it just like that so um, I'm not gonna bore you with doing that till it's full but I'll keep it recording and, and I'll just speed up the video so you see how many air pumps it takes me so that was one so I just keep recording and then I'll fix it in post and then we'll finish it off. <laughs> 30 and then 10 mm -hmm. extra blows. This video really blows. All right, so we got that in there. Okay. All right, so, cool. This one was, this feels, I thought this was connected to something more than girth hitched. Weird. I uh, just got this on top. All right, so that's that. So you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking. It's a glorified air mattress. What happens when it pops? They have side rubber here, which is going to be rubbing up against the wall. Kind of thick. $780 for this. I mean, if you take a look at my other portal edge I did in some other videos, that thing's older than I am. It's still holding up. 
Do you have any advice, Mr. Perry, for the people that want to climb? Get off my climb! <laughs> Can't you see I live here? <laughs> I don't think think this thing is gonna last 20 plus years, and I gotta connect this to something. I don't think this thing is gonna be tw make it to 20 plus years for 780, overpriced. But I mean, the thing is, super light, put right out of the pack, and honestly, I've been using it to sleep in camp four. You got enough room where you're at? I usually like to put this, attach this. Separately, do I have another locker around? <laughs> Just to have good rope management, I like to be separated and stuff, but keep it separated. I don't have the rain fly for it to show you what the rain fly is like. Okay, so let's hop into this thing. Comfy. I've seen pictures where they have two side by side. Now, I think like a full size portal edge is like almost around the same price, but you are getting a lot more with that because you could stand on it, sort your gear, like go through your haul bags. It's a lot more sturdy. You could stand on the aluminum poles. This thing. I don't know how I'd feel about standing on it and sorting stuff out. Like it's got, these are just attached to these lines, but I guess this line, this line down here is slacked. So you can hang stuff from here, but, so basically all the tension is kind of just on these, just this material, and this rubber. It's not the most confident boosting thing but damn it is comfortable I'll, I'll give it that it is comfortable and light and light I mean so I mean it got it gets points for that what do you think about it I agree I'd rather have something flat where I could put my tea on you see how I'm at an angle like I'm leaning into the rock like that's a little bit it, it'd be nice if it had some type of adjustment Oh. Like if it like with the, with the port with the red port ledge we have, it yeah. has adjustment so that you can level it out. This doesn't have adjustment. Well, it ha it looks like it has some way. It has these extra slings here. These I'll rings. tell you what. After hauling up the the aluminum one to half dome and back and all yeah. around, I would choose this. Yeah. And I'd pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> that is a good point. This thing says zero. The lightness is what really. These rings say zero kilonewton. Like it's got, like these rings here. Like I'd want to use this ring. Like I'd want to connect this ring to to adjust it, so that, like this end was coming down a little farther. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like if I put that first ring in, but I mean all the everything here says zero kilonewton. So basically. Nothing here is rated. Obviously, I don't want it rated for anything, any falls or anything on it. I mean, I'm sure that's how it is with all portal edges. But everyone, everyone wants this answer. Quite everyone's wondering, Josh, what happens when it pops? Well, let's find out. That would be really lame <laughs> to sleep on for a week. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's now it's popped. Now it's a this, now this yeah, but it's not. Let me tell you something. It's not comfortable at all, at all, at all. It might be just because my harness is now is now being pulled. I, I can't wait this thing for it. Well, it take too long to loosen it. I mean, yeah, it's essentially a hammock now. 
So you, you, you get a hammock. Not as comfortable, but I guess still, uh, you know, buy a hammock. <laughs> Just go mm. buy a, at that point, go buy a hammock, right? Hammocks are even lighter. Yeah, hammocks are even lighter. <laughs> I mean, they, they do they do use old school, it, the old school method is a hammock. So, I don't know, the real, the real test is how long it's gonna last and if it if it pops at seven hundred and eighty five dollars, man, I get it's climbing gear and climbing gear is expensive, but that's just that's a tough pill to swallow. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Okay, so Josh Perry, climbing out of here.